Hello, and welcome to another Saturday Story Time and Craft. I'm Mr. Corey. This week we are doing a uh, book about ponds. We're also going to be making a paper diorama of a pond with different uh, wildlife in it, so that'll be kind of cool. Um, like I said, so our book is about pond and ponds and their, uh, the different animals that live in that habitat. Um, it's called Over and Under the Pond, and it's written by Kate Mesner with art by Christopher Silas Neal. So let's get into it. Over the pond, we slide, splashing through lily pads and sweeping through reeds. The water's a mirror, reflecting the sky, sunshine and clouds, then a shadow below. What's down there? I ask. Under the pond, Mom says. Do you see the shadow? What do you think that is? I think it's maybe some kind of fish. Under the pond is a whole hidden world of minnows and crayfish, turtles and bullfrogs. We're paddling over them right now. Do you see all the different animals? There's a turtle, there's the fish, and that's the bullfrog right over there. Over the pond, we skim past tall rushes. Whirligig beetles loop and twirl, skaters on a warm summer surface. Under the pond, minnows dart through waving forests of grass, while a brook trout lurks, ready to lunge. Do you see him over there? Over the pond, we lift and dip and pull past a row of painted turtles on a waterlogged tree. One, two, three. They slip off and away. Splash, girl, sploosh, under the pond. Oh, there's ducks back there too. You see them? Over the pond, cattails rustle and shush in the wind. Listen close. Cookery. Red-winged blackbirds race by. One has grass for her nest. Under the pond, caddisfly larva builds a home of her own, a secret shelter of pebbles and sand. Do you see that? She's like collected a whole bunch of them right there. Over the pond, the shadows of the trees lean out from the shore. We coast under a low-hanging branch. A moose looks up. A mouthful of water, lilies. We interrupted his lunch. He's munching away. Under the pond, beavers dive deep. They pump with powerful tails and rise to the surface with delectable roots from the mud. Over the pond, the wind gives us a push and stirs the light dappened leaves on the shore. There on a branch, a new goldfinch teeters, finally ready to fly. There's the goldfinch up there. And then under the pond, tadpoles are changing, learning to hop. They're losing their tails and growing legs, growing up. Do you guys know what a tadpole turns into? They turn into a frog. Over the pond, there at the shore, tall and silent and still, a great blue heron stares down at the deep. It tenses. It takes one long-legged step and it strikes. It catches a wiggling quicksilver minnow from where it was hiding in the pond. Over the pond we drift, heads tipped up to the sun. A woodpecker clings to a teetering pine, digging for ants. Under the pond, an otter claws for freshwater mussels. See, there's a whole bunch of mussels there on the ground. Over the pond, a sleepy dragonfly lands for a rest. His spindly legs tickle my knee. 
under the pond, dragonfly larvae watch what swims by. They catch minnows in monster fast jaws. Over the pond, the shadows stretch. Ospreys circle in, on quiet wings. Raccoons and mink stalk the shoreline for supper. Under the pond, with a flip of a tail, a crayfish disappears into the darkness. Over the pond, we head for home. We glide, swish, bump, right up onto the shore. As a far off loon calls goodnight, the sky turns from sunset to dusk to dark. Night settles over the pond. The prowling catfish and drowsy turtles, the scuttling crayfish and the tadpoles turn frogs, wading herons and stalking raccoons. In the hidden world under the pond. The end. So like I said, uh, that was our book for today and we are going to be making a paper diorama and it's going to be of animal life that's both above the pond and under it, just like in the book. So uh, if you had registered for the kit, you should have the materials um, included. It's not really much. Again, this is a simple one. Um, I'll explain it as we go along. Um, it's mostly uh, paper for uh, the template and then uh, something to color it with. I included some crayons. Um, then you'll also need like some scissors and glue. Um, I think I included a glue stick in there as well. Um, but yeah, let's get into the craft. All right, so we are gonna make our paper triangle diorama. So included in the kit, I have a over the pond and under the pond background. So just like in the book. And also I have a coloring sheet with a bunch of different animals on it. There's some fish and a frog and beaver turtle, all sorts of fun stuff. But if you want to draw your own animals or even your own background, feel free to do so. For the background, the only thing you need to do uh, is make sure you have a square piece of paper so that when we cut it and make it into the triangle, um, all the sides are even. Uh, so I just took like a regular eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper and trimmed it down so that it was eight and a half by eight and a half. Um, also, I included some crayons and a glue stick in the kit, um, but you'll also need to provide your own scissors so that we can cut everything out at the end. So the first step is my favorite, it's coloring. So I'm going to color all the animals and then the backgrounds. Uh, with the backgrounds, that uh, bottom right corner where it says glue here, uh, that's going to go underneath, so uh, you can leave that part blank because you won't see it. And then, next step is the folding. So, for this part, you're going to fold the top left corner to the bottom right corner, and then unfold it, and fold the top right corner to the bottom left corner, um, and then unfold it. So, doing that is going to create like a cross or t-shaped uh, crease uh, in your image um, and then you're going to take your scissors and cut along the dotted line and put some glue where it says glue here and then you're going to fold the uh, bottom left flap over the the glue here flap um, and then press down and you'll have your little triangle shape after you have your triangles made the next thing to do is to cut out your animals. So uh, when I was cutting them out, I tried to cut off as much of the white space around them as possible so that it didn't cover up too much of the background. Um, get as close as you can. Uh, it doesn't have to be too perfect. And then after they're cut out, you can take your glue stick and glue them wherever you like. And then you're done. All right, so thanks for uh, joining us this week for Saturday Storytime and Craft. I hope uh, you enjoyed making the little paper diorama and yours came out pretty cool. Um, if you want to share it on our social media, feel free to do so. Um, as always, you can check our website, civapubliclibrary.com, 
and go into our calendar and check for future events. We have a whole bunch of in-person um, as well as online programming uh, up there that you can look at. Um, you can also go to our Facebook or YouTube page and look at the archive of previous videos that we have up there. Um, I have a bunch of Saturday Storytime and Craft videos up there. And there's some other cool uh, craft and activity videos up there as well. So I hope you guys have a good Saturday, and I will see you around. Bye.